It was a prank, according to the teen who started the whole Louisville Purge hoax. A poster that circulated on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook in the past week said that the alleged Louisville Purge would start at 8 p.m. on Friday and continue until 6.30 a.m. Saturday. Welcome to the news and trivia channel, this is Lemon. The unnamed teenager thought it would be funny to circulate rumors of a 12-hour crime spree, but as 80,000 people tune in to an online police scanner, nothing happened. Not even an alleged giraffe running loose in the Kentucky city. A poster that circulated on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook in the past week said the that the alleged Louisville purge would start at 8 p.m. on Friday and continue until 6.30 a.m. Saturday. There was even one football scrimmage rescheduled for Saturday morning because the threats circulating on Twitter and extra police patrols were ordered in the metro area and neighboring communities. And One Direction fans also freaked out, fearing that their idols might also get hurt that because they would be having a concert in Detroit, Michigan on August 16. According to the teen prankster that the wannabe Purge was inspired by a film titled The Purge, where in its fictional world ruled by a totalitarian government, emergency services were suspended for 12 hours each year to get rid of the violent crimes of the nation. The teen has since apologized for his prank and said he understands his actions stirred up some panic in his beloved town. He said he did not know that it would get serious. Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? Hello? The teen has not been identified because he will not be charged with a crime. I could not think of any crime that his hoax has committed. And it's been I don't think that there was an intention of the soaps, just that people are catching up on it and they were like, oh my god. And most importantly, the One Direction fans are the ones who's creating more drama into this hoax. But his hoax turned into a legitimate concern for local schools and authorities. Well, what I learned from this news is that number one, According to the police, people really need to be careful about what they say on social media and I totally agree. Additionally, the police said that they're going to take any threat that they receive seriously, particularly, particularly one that encourages and incites violence against their community. Exactly, police officer. I mean, if you're going to say something on social media that will create chaos, that's alarming, that will create confusion, that will incite violence, concern, and panic. I mean, even if it's just a hoax. Because who knows if it's going to be real or not. People are will be concerned. Even I, if, even I was concerned, like, oh my god, there's there might be, you know, some idiots out there or some people have nothing to do anymore in their lives and they just want to do something. I mean... I was thinking about gangs going to have a killing party. It does raise concern. And number two, there is a line between a good joke and a bad joke. And I think this one just is in line with it being a bad joke. But at the same time, I find it funny. What what I find funny is how the One Direction fans are freaking out. <laughs> And this is my number three. What I learned is that One Direction fans can be so protective in a funny way. <laughs> Until next time, thanks for watching News and Trivia channel. Please free feel free to share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you next time. This is Lemon. Have a nice day.